Welcome back, I got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show, and today we are announcing a brand new segment that I'm pretty excited about. I'm excited about it too. Jay and I both have been talking about doing this for well over a year now, and you guys are starting to ask, and here it is. We're gonna ask you to submit photos of your collection, anything to do with your football helmet. If you just got a new setup and you want us to critique your gear, we expect quality photos here, okay? So don't put the helmet in your sink and have yourself in a reflection with no shirt on in the bathroom, none of that. Every Sunday at 11 o'clock, we're gonna roll out a show. You're gonna have a week to submit your photos. While I am going to be talking about the actual components on the helmet in the photo, what Steve is gonna be doing is he's gonna tell you how to take a better photo. Right. Steve here, a professional photographer, is gonna be able to give you some really little simple tips and tricks on how to make the photograph better. Uh, so when you put it out there, people are gonna like, more people are gonna like it because you can take a mm -hmm. great object and not light it properly or show it properly. And it doesn't look that great. Or you can take something that's not that great and you put the right person behind the lens and it looks fantastic. Yeah, it could be fun. It could be fun. So do you wanna get into my collection? Um, so what we have here from a uh, helmet standpoint, we got a mini helmet with a bunch of signatures on it. That's a New York Giants. Uh, mini helmet and I can tell right out of the gate that this is pre 2000 and I'm gonna say 15 for sure. Why do you say that? What number gave it away? Well because it says Riddell on the front and after that they didn't wear Riddell on the front because they're not allowed to have uh, logo or they're not have, allowed to have brands on the helmets anymore. Learning already. So um, as far as the little one goes it looks like a standard uh, VSR4 Helmet, I can tell that this is a VSR4 pretty easily by just looking at the face mask. That's the first thing that I look at. Um, same exact thing for the white Super Bowl helmet. Um, that is also a VSR4, and you can tell by the, the little swoop uh, easily in the face mask because the Shut XP face mask or the Super Pros look identical except for that piece on the side by the clip. I was actually there when the Super Bowl one got signed, which was really a lot of fun. I used to do some of the photography at MetLife Stadium and for Rutgers. I was there when his helmet got signed, man. To me, this helmet is priceless. Um, to other people that, I mean, in, in Boston, not yeah, so much. Not so much. And I, you know, this is a fine example of taking a relatively cheap helmet and it's all about the experience for me, but this was a lot of fun, man. And I shot this with uh, just my iPhone on portrait mode because I wanted to show what you can do with just a cell phone. So let's go on to the next one here. So what we have, is a autographed Georgia Tech. Uh, you already told me this is a mini helmet. Yes. But I would not have instinctively known that out of the gate okay. with, with, with this um, with this photograph. Um, but there are some tells um, where you can tell something is a mini helmet or a full size. And sometimes there it's very difficult to tell unless there's something of reference around it. And I was really just showing off the fact that I got Calvin Johnson's autograph on my mini helmet. <laughs> and, and and it's a great it's a great photograph. I mean, this, if this was a full size helmet, that would be a huge signature. <laughs> That's true. Um, a couple of little things just on this photo, though, that you can see. Say, wait a second, that's not a full size. Is there's no um, upper chin strap snap? Oh yeah. Um, above where the uh, kind of the the screw on the face mask, the lower face mask clip is. Um, I don't know off the top of my head whether or not the, the, the full-size or actual Georgia Tech logos have a clear border. With the mini helmets, a lot of the decals will have that clear border. Um, and I'm not sure if Georgia Tech decals have a clear border around it or not. The picture of the back, now you've got a decal on there that obviously doesn't belong. You don't have a flag decal. It doesn't have uh, numbers. I don't know off the top of my head if Georgia Tech wears numbers or not. Um, but th those are all pretty obvious th things. You know, the, the Riddell on the back isn't raised. It's just a yeah. print. That's a certification. Um, basically, I, I got, uh, with most of my collectibles, I try to get them graded. So they stuck that on there and I was fine with that. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, jumping into this photo, Steve, we've got, obviously, this is your giant helmet. We built this right here. I built it, actually. Yes. Um, and it was for your own personal collection. So I know some things about this helmet that you can't tell from the photo. Right. Um, but with that said, what I'm looking at here as far as the helmet goes, it looks like a pristine, perfect uh, <laughs> New York Giants color rush 
inspired uh, satin red or blaze helmet uh, done up just like OBJ wears. Correct. And the photo is kind of cool. This is where I got a little crafty with it. Um, I didn't want it to really look like a standard photo. For some people, it might be too dark. For some people, they might not like it, but it's my picture. I like it. So send your submissions that are weird. That's okay with me. You can see we've put a, a chrome blue US flag on here. And this specific helmet was a uh, one of the Riddell Blaze helmets. Right. And the Riddell Blaze helmets came with an NY on the side. Mm -hmm. So we tore the NY off, NY off and we put the Giants on. So the first thing that would jump out at me if you were to send this photo in is I know that this isn't a helmet that you can just go out and purchase anywhere. So that this has been customized to an extent because there's never been a helmet, at least not an officially licensed helmet from Riddell where they've sold a red Blaze uh, color rush helmet. That says Giants especially. It's, that says Giants spelled right. out with a line underneath. Right. Um, and this guy here obviously putting the white face mask on there to accentuate the decals and make it more of a color rush uh, inspired blaze look. Most unique features of this helmet that you're not going to see anywhere really except really on, on TV is going to be this visor. This visor came from the Giants. Yeah, this um, is what really set the helmet off. So we, as a as in our face mask reconditioning services we provide, we work with the Giants, and sometimes they'll send down some visors. Other teams will send down visors and some of the pieces that you just can't buy. And this is one of those pieces. This is the, the blue visor that OBJ wears uh, in pre or in, in warm ups and in preseason when they're allowed to wear their tinted visors. So this thing, I would actually put a priceless tag on that visor just because you can't buy them. Therefore, there is no price. I'm very proud of this. Um, obviously, we've got OBGA's CU S2BD SW face mask. We've got his Victory uh, T-Rex um, Hurricane chin strap. We've got the white buckle on the top and the stainless steel buckle on the bottom. Uh, we've got the 13. We've got the um, the New York 3D bumper. So we got a lot of components on here to make this an OBJ helmet. And to, to me, un, it is easily recognizable as an OBJ helmet, um, not just because the number 13 is on there. Um, and so I'm really curious who has a similar OBJ setup on their helmet. So am I. Yeah, because because obviously we'll be able to spot that right out of the gate. Email your best pictures to pics, P-I-C-S, at greengridiron.com. You will get an auto reply. Um, we will be checking every single one of them. And what we'll do is Sunday, 11 a.m., every Sunday, we're going to do this. So make sure that your helmet makes the cut. Are you excited about this? What kind of camera you have? What kind of phone you have? You're going to be using your, your phone. Um, are you into photography, yes or no? If you think this is a good idea, if you're looking forward to it or not. Yeah. Um, like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.